EVs don't do well in the cold. This is what we've been told by countless Facebook posts. Even stories in certain newspapers and media have spoken about electric cars not being able to be driven during winter. But as you guys can see, I am surrounded by ice and snow here in northern Alberta. And tonight, what we're going to do is we're going to freeze this Kia Soul EV by parking it outside for a good amount of hours. At night, it's going to be around minus 30 degrees Celsius. I'll put it up here in Fahrenheit. And what we're going to do tomorrow morning is quite simple. We're going to see if the car starts, if it drives, and if I can take it to a local DC fast charger, plug it in and actually charge the battery. And some stats inside the car. So we are starting the test with 128 kilometers on the GOM. And I'll show you guys what the percentage is in a second. So we'll see how much that changes. Um, car says minus 21. Um, but car scanner says minus 20.5 now this is the important part the battery temp so we are starting at three degrees max two uh, degrees minimum um, so we're going to watch to see if this drops below zero obviously it will with the temperatures overnight and we are starting at bms percentage of 40 that's the one that we're going to be watching for that's the more reliable one all right so let's begin the test right now it's 10 a.m here and uh yeah we will come back 24 hours later so then we will see what the differences that are here in terms of percentage battery temp as well as the gom and obviously will the car start are we going to be able to go and actually fast charge the vehicle and all of that good stuff All right, good morning, guys. It is now 10 a.m., so we've been keeping this car outside, as you guys can see, covered in ice for 24 hours. So now let's hopefully see if it opens, let's see if it starts, and let's see if we can go to the DC fast charger and actually charge the thing. So let's go. All right, keys here. Let's see, because last year I had problems with the 12 volt. Oh, no problem today opens up let's see oh my god the seats are so cold all right we are on and look at this we started yesterday with 121 and now it's 105 the car saying 26 minus 26 but they're just standing still here um when we drive maybe it'll drop who knows we shall see but now I want to plug in my OBD and check out the stats of the battery. I turned off the HVAC, so that's why the 128 now. But with the HVAC on like yesterday, I'll show you guys in a second. It drops down. So yeah, car says minus 26. Um, now, battery temp. Minus 18 at the max and minus 22 at the minimum. Jeez Louise. And look, we even with HVAC off, we are still pulling two kilowatt almost three kilowatt why because um kia has a nifty feature called uh winter mode so it does use um uh, the heat pump to try to heat up the battery a little bit um obd says minus 25 car says minus 26 and then um state of charge bms is 39.5 i'll put up the difference right here between yesterday 24 hours ago and today so you guys can see the difference but that that bms is the one that we're after yeah, so we're pulling almost three kilowatt with the HVAC off. So now let's turn on the HVAC and then let's see what happens. Oh, look at the screen. The screen is all like so slow to, to change. Look at this. It's because of the cold. Look at that. 21, 22, 23. And then we have this and we can do this oh my god the buttons are like halfway frozen look at this you see how it takes some time right and then we put it on three for now okay that's crazy um rear defroster okay that works all right so we're going to be defrosting the car so now 
with the HVAC on, we're pulling a major, almost 10 in, in some instances. Jeez Louise. And look at this. We put it on 23 and, th and uh, a power of three on the HVAC and we've dropped down to 100. Holy moly, that's crazy. Yeah. All right, so now with this cold battery, let's go to the DC fast charger and see if we can charge this car. Okay, you guys have to agree this is a cool test. I'm like, I was apprehensive. I don't know. Oh, there's like icicles on my steering wheel. Um, I was apprehensive about doing it because I just didn't know what was going to happen, right? Like, uh, is it all going to work and be nice and, 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 and give us some good results? Or is it not going to be cold enough overnight and we're just going to have like normal temperatures? Yeah, but last night it was minus 30. At around 5 a.m., 6 a.m., it hit minus 30. Um, I didn't want to turn on the car and show you guys anything because I just didn't want to jeopardize the test, right? Because you turn on the car, it starts heating up the battery, right? So... Um, I just wanted to keep it like this as much as possible, but yeah, super awesome. Okay. Anyway, let me do the windows cause I can't see anything and let's go and charge. Okay. And just to show you guys, it is 1021 on the 19th. So we started yesterday. Um, and then, yeah, you guys can see the kilometers hasn't changed from yesterday. So I didn't drive it. Um, but yeah, still battery damn cold. So let's go. Um, I've done the windscreen so I can actually see where I'm going. So now let's go to the DC fast charger and see what happens. We are on the move to the charger. It's very close to here from my house. It's about two kilometers. It's not an exceptionally fast charger. It's only a flow 50, but honestly, with that cold of a battery, it'll be a miracle that we, uh, we start charging anyways, right? So that's always good. And uh, when I started the car, I don't know if you guys can hear it, probably not. Um, as I'm driving, there is a lot of motor wine, so everything needs to kind of warm up. So even electric motors take a little bit of time before they are at it, their peak temperature. So that's just something to consider. So I wouldn't be hammering it right off the bat when you start a cold car like this. But yeah, the heating mechanism in the car is doing its job. You know, this is something that you can't turn off. I mean, it, it's trying to protect the battery, right? That's the, that's, that's the function that it was designed to do, right? So when it goes to like this kind of temperatures, its job is to make sure the battery warms up, right? So, yeah, we're gonna do this as quickly as possible. Obviously, it's still gonna be mighty cold, much colder the battery today than any person would probably experience wherever you guys live, unless you live in northern Canada like me or somewhere in northern Europe, really far north, right, where you get those kind of temperatures. But anyway, we're like a, a minute and a half away from the charger. So, um, yeah, I'm curious to see what happens. We have arrived at the DC fast charger. Let me get my port ready. It hasn't frozen yet. So plug in first. Let's see if this works because the charger was sitting also overnight at uh, minus 30, right? So let's have a look if it is going to actually start charging. So it's talking to the car right now. Let's have a see. Okay. RFID. And it's initiating charging. So let's have a look. I'm going to let it run and see if it starts working okay we got contactors um it's doing some pre-charge tests okay we're charging we are charging so let's have a look inside what's going on here and what speeds we're getting okay so we are getting seven kilowatt <laughs> Might as well just level uh, two charge this car at this point. Yeah, but actually we're only putting into the battery, huh, maybe seven. So it is obviously using quite a lot of uh, that for, for battery management. So you see the battery now, minus 14, minus 15, but we arrived here at the charger with a BMS of 34.5. So in a short span of time, we used 
um, quite a lot of energy. I'll put up here the exact number because the BMS is doing what the BMS is supposed to do, meaning it has to warm up the battery in a situation like this where it's extreme cold because any car that doesn't have a good BMS, that's when you're run into trouble and that's when your batteries and all of that will degrade much faster. So good to know. I was actually also wondering how, how good the BMS is, but uh, yeah. So now let's turn off the HVAC and see if we have any change here. Yeah, so we're going a little bit faster here. Um, not groundbreaking fast, um, but we are adding energy. So there you go. And the back of my Kia is steaming. I don't know if you guys can see this on camera, but it's quite funny. Um, yeah, so this is my regular hometown charger. We have two of these 50 kilowatt flows. And look, another Hummer EV. Similar color to the one that we saw in the previous video. I don't know why there's so many Hummer EVs suddenly everywhere. Um, they're nice though. Wranglers, Goodyear Wranglers, nice beefy tire. Yeah. Anyways, let's uh, let's have a look at the charging. So car says we're pulling 11, and then the car actually is taking eight, the battery. So everything else is going to the BMS because HVAC is off. So yeah, we'll see how fast this goes to zero degrees on the battery, whichever comes first, minimum or max. I'll show you guys that. But yeah, very interesting. Very interesting test, I do have to say. All right, the battery finally has hit um, positive temperatures and it only took about... Um, 35 to 40 minutes <laughs> it's a quite a long time but now um car says 24 kilowatt charging speed but actually the car is getting 22 so two is going to the bms again um but yeah so now it should be warming up and uh charging faster and faster and then obviously if you start driving it will get better efficiency and, and keep warming up the battery so there you go. So it took about 40 minutes, let's say, um, to get to positive temperatures on the battery. So when people ask me, can you use an electric car in the cold, in the extreme cold of Northern Canada? I always say yes. Will you be charging a little bit slower than usually? Yes, you will be because the battery is cold as what I showed today. But we were able to start the car. We were able to drive to a DC fast charger. We were able to plug in and charge without issue. So anybody out there putting comments on Facebook or other social media saying that EVs don't work in the cold, I think you need to check your facts again and, and look at videos like this. Even the one that I did last year where I drove at minus 35 degrees here also in Edmonton without an issue, found a charger, was able to charge and yeah, there was no drama. So I think it's pretty apparent. Um, thank you so much for watching. Um, I hope you liked this video. If you did, make sure to like it. Comment below what your experiences are driving in the cold. I would love to hear your opinions and, and personal experience. And uh, yeah, if you haven't subscribed already, feel free to subscribe um, for more videos like this. Uh, hopefully we still get a few colder days because I have a few more cold tests that I want to do here in Edmonton. All right. Thanks so much, guys. Take care. Bye.